<laughs> we got a bike, we got a bike, we got a bike. It's huge. <laughs> Buenos dias. I'm going fishing today, and you're coming with me. Oh, it's a cat. Oh, it's a nice looking cat. Oh, there's two. Anyway, yes, we're going on a fishing trip today. Four hours out there, 80 euros per person. Hopefully I catch something, or this is gonna be a very boring video. I'm gonna try and make it as entertaining as I can, all right? I promise. Let's do it. You guys been fishing? Did you catch anything? Some smaller ones, tunas and others were not ah. fishing, but then we were doing vertical fishing and got some. Nice. Some you you're taking it home, are you? No. Oh. <laughs> Do they give you the option to take it home? Uh, we didn't ask. All right. Oh, hopefully I can. I want some dinner. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they were quite small, the ones. Oh yeah. Some red snappers. Oh yeah. You can eat them. I'm sure. Oh, well, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I can catch some dinner. Yeah. Thanks guys. Yeah. Have a good day. Good Bye. <laughs> Thanks. Woo! They caught something. It's promising. Buenas. Hola. <laughs> wow, what, what a noise. Oh, is that a cat? I thought yeah. seagull. <laughs> Cat has got an identity problem. <laughs> oh my god, that left me something like dumb there. Wasn't it? Pay shooter, cat and bolt. See the comfort, they will make the shoes there, and all the bags that you don't need, we can put inside on the sofa. Put sho sho shoes in there, yeah? Shoes inside, yeah? Lovely, that's actually way safer because these are not safe. We yes, we go for four hours. It's a little windy now, so we go in direction of Los Gigantes. Okay, we we put the Today, lines. Today we are going to be fishing for barracuda. Yeah, uh, tuna, barracuda, and wahoo, which is like a tuna that looks like a barracuda. All right, as long as we catch a fish within the legal limits to take home, then we can take it home. Oh, mate, it's well rocky. <laughs> Oh, that is way rockier than I thought it would be. The colour of the sea is so blue though, look at that. Yeah, I'm getting wet already. You can tell I'm not a fisherman. Move over, Phil. Move over. seconds on this boat. Oh mate, some of these waves are huge man. She'd definitely be being sick right now. <laughs> so the deal is here, we've got five lines in the water. One big one for the big wahoo or tuna. We've got two at the front that are for big fish, but don't know what, not, not, not necessarily as big as the big boy in the middle. And then you've got the two smaller ones either side. They're just for catching small fish on the either side. And he says if a fish bites the big one, all the other ones must come in to stop them from tangling up because it can go anywhere. He says, if we catch a tuna, you could be on that line for hours. If there's a wahool, could be 25 minutes, half an hour. So you have to be patient and relax. Take it in turns to reel it in. Size them hooks, man. Apparently there's uh, unlimited drinks on, these, on this boat, on this uh, trip. But I've not been offered a drink yet. And he's on the phone. He says he's in touch with other boats, checking where the tuna are, see if anyone knows where the tuna are, give us the best chance of catching one. Senor, uh, tú tienes las bebidas? Gracias. Hola, uh, okay for me. Hola. Gracias. Hola. Hola. That's what it's all about chilling in the sun you catch a fish get a bit of excitement but otherwise it's not too bad 
I always think of fishing as like, well, I'm just be sitting here waiting, but it's quite nice. It's a nice place to be. You're out in the, out in the ocean, doing something different. It's a different, different atmosphere, different, different environment. And it's the, it's the anticipation that you could catch a fish is what keeps you interested and keeps you excited. You're sitting here and at any moment, a giant tuna could come along and grab that lure and take it off hundreds of meters, kilometers, however far they go, I don't know, probably a long way. That is why fishing is fun. Even if you don't catch something, it's the excitement that you could. It's like when you're trying to pull a girl. It's the chase that the boys love. When you when you when you catch it, the chase is oftentimes better than the catch with females. And that's what that's what fishing's all about. Alright, I've just been informed. There's a lot of activity over there. There's a lot of birds swooping down. Bait ball, that means predators, that means fish, that means we're gonna get some action. Are you gonna go around the front? Uh -huh. Are you gonna go around the front? Well, you can. No, you said you're well, gonna go around. You. Come then. I'll no, ask you. Ask around this side, we go. gotta go around that way. Why? That's what he said. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> he said this side earlier. Have Yeah. We got the Oh, come on. <laughs> Mate. I straight over it. Mate. Yeah, but I've got a camera in my hand, man. That was <laughs> difficult. I should have just turned the camera off. I can't see the fish they're on about. Where's the activity? I don't know. Oh, I can see the birds over there. Oh, right. Birds equals bait equals predators equals fish equals dinner. Yeah. Seagulls are the rats of the skies. If there's no food, there's no seagulls. We've got seagulls here. They only care about one thing. Food. Actually, a bit like me. That's a harsh realization. Apparently there's a high chance of seeing dolphins and pilot whales on these tours. Bloody hell, it's a bit rocky here when he does that, isn't it? He turns into the waves. Oh. Oh, 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 God, oh, my oh. Arms, so <laughs> I don't want to go in. I wish I went at the front right now. Well, oh. you ain't walking around any time soon, mate. I definitely ain't walking around. I'm not like, letting go of this strap. Hey, you can easily roll off the side. Look at that. <laughs> oh, the camera overheated. We just got completely soaked. <laughs> He said, it's 22 degrees, senor. 22 degrees. No worries. My ass is so wet. These, these shorts are like knitted, you knitted as well. Toes. Oh, I have cut my toes, yeah. These waves are starting to get to me a little bit. Can't lie. I don't usually get seasick. But even looking at the boat earlier was making me feel a bit like wobbly. This is particularly bad. I'm focusing on the horizon. Natalia's gonna absolutely love this when I tell her later. She is going to love it. The amount of times her awkward seasickness has meant we've had to take a longer route or missed out on certain opportunities or excursions and I've always been a bit harsh on her about it telling her to just man up stop being so awkward and here I am staring at the horizon 
waiting for it to all be over. If we catch a fish, all will be well. But it's been over two hours now. We've caught nothing. I think my, my expectations were so high when we saw those seagulls, the dirty flying rats. That I'm now I've been left with a huge void. You know what I said earlier about the chase being more fun than the catch. Well, the chase is slowly getting more and more boring. And this is why I'm happily married. It's been about two hours and 40 minutes now, I think. Hope is, hope is wearing thin. Looks like we're gonna have to pay for dinner tonight. Although, he says he's caught loads of wahoo here. I don't even know if you can eat wahoo. The chase seems like a great, exciting idea at first. But a couple of hours in, same with chasing women, it just gets boring. Uh, I'm actually starving now as well. After all that, I'm well hungry, man. The seasickness is kind of t going away. I've been staring at the horizon now for a good hour. And uh, I'm starting to feel a bit better. It actually works. Earlier on, mate, I was just looking at the back of the boat. I think, the, I think actually the seas calmed down. That might be why I'm feeling better. It's nowhere near as bad. When I look at the back now, when I looked at the back earlier, it was like proper sloshing like a whirlpool. It was mad. It was making me proper go. But now I feel actually all right. See how calm it is now. It's not really very rocky. That's probably why I'm feeling bad, to be honest. In my defense, he did say the sea's too rough for us to even have the rods out that we're supposed to have. And we can't do the uh, drop, I don't know what it's called, drop shotting, I'm calling it, where you drop the bait all the way down to the bottom, you know, and you just like bob it and, and you catch fish like that. He says it's, it's too rough for us to do that. Our lines will all just get tangled with each other. So in my defense, these are severe weather conditions. nearly four hours now we've got one last ditch effort back to the harbour it's not looking hopeful at all we've got a bite we've got a bite we've got a bite come on fish on here we go come on this is real 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 the other lines hello real real the other lines real 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 you real? Veloce, veloce! Eh, veloce, veloce, me zona che dormi, Dio cazzo! Veloce, me zona che dormi! Up and down, up and down, up and down! Dai, agati! Tu e giù, tu e giù! Dun, 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 dun! It's all action! Poor guy just got the rod straight in his knob. He needs that belt, mate. He needs a belt. He's got the rod straight in his knob. <laughs> mate, I hope it's a wahoo because uh, I don't know what the hell they look like. You know. You know he's a wahoo. Yes. Here's a wahoo. If it's wahoo, I run away. Is it wahoo? He said it's wahoo. He said it's a wahoo. It's a wahoo. It's gonna be the dangerous fish. He's gonna be so excited. This is what this is what it's all about, boys. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Remember, I said the chase is more fun than the catch. I was wrong. This is way more fun. Oh, well, we can take it home and eat it. It's huge. Look how they're going to gross me all off. Oh, bro. Oh, sh**. Oh, tuna. Hello. Look at that. Fucking hell, man. Tuna. I was expecting. I thought that was going to be a wahoo. He just thrown it at me. I thought it was going to be a wahoo. Look at it. Should we take this home and barbie it? Oh, man. I think so. Oh, God. 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 O
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's your eyeball. What is that? What was that? It's your eyeball. Parasite. Oh, parasite. Oh, yeah, yeah. He had a, oh, he had a parasite anyway. Well, unfortunately, that is the harsh reality of fishing. He turned from predator to prey just that quickly. And that could happen to any one of us at any time. Isn't that right, Dean? Never a true word said, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> he actually hasn't even killed it. The way he the way he was reeling it in, I was so excited. I was thinking it's going to be a monster. They tell me I can see it in the water and I see the shadow and I thought it was huge. <laughs> and, then, and then I realised what it is. And, uh, yeah. Poor little guy is still it's flapping okay. about. Okay. Top of the head, top of the head. Top of the head. Not like that. Circle of life. Kill or be killed. Eat or be eaten. That was fun. That was good. Something I would recommend. I would say maybe a little overpriced. But I suppose if you can catch, if you catch a big fish, it's not overpriced. So it's just the luck of the draw, isn't it? That's the the game you play. You don't know if you're gonna you don't know if you're gonna catch something or not. And it's they don't know whether you're gonna catch something or not. The fact that you possibly could catch something huge is enough to make you pay and make you enjoy the experience. That was great. That was good. That was good fun. I had a good time. Apart from when I started feeling sick, Natalia, I will never ever moan at you again for being scared of feeling seasickness because when you start feeling sick on that boat it feels like it's going to be an eternity until you get off it so yeah i understand i understand now see this is personal growth that's what this is all about this is what traveling the world is all about is personal growth <laughs> understanding yourself understanding life uh, i'm starving let's go get some food all right we're here, Playa de las Americas, the castle pub and tapas bar. Quick food, I need quick food. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try gold bream in salt crust. Destroying that fish's life today has made me feel like I need to, I need to eat, I need to eat some fish. To make it not in vain. It didn't die in vain. And I've never tried gold bream. I'm getting gold bream in salt crust. Decided, done. Whoa! Whoa. Gracias. Hola. No, barbecue. <laughs> barbecue. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with it. Gold bream in salt. Yeah, I don't know what to do with it. I wasn't expecting him to sit on fire. I um, need an instruction manual on how to eat it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's taking the skin off for me. Oh, all is well. I was looking at it with. I was looking at it with all the uh, salt in it. I was thinking. I start with that. I'm not supposed to eat salt, am I? 20 euros this was. Same as this tapas, by the way, it was 20 euros per person for six dishes. You can get quite a lot of food as well, to be honest. I'm, I love how he's preparing it for me. I've no idea what I'm doing with fish. I barely eat it. Considering I'm starving hungry, I've chosen the longest meal to wait for ever. <laughs> Well, that shrunk pretty quick. Gracias, senor. All right, let's try it. Gold bream, let's go. It's nice. It's a bit fishy, but it's nice. It's like the, uh, the texture of it's quite uh, grippy. It's not slimy. Do you know what I mean? Grippy? It's grippy. I don't know how to describe it any, any other way. 
I don't know the point of the salt. The point of the salt it takes all the moisture out. The, the point of the salt keeps the moisture in, so then it stays moist. And it's not dry, but it's still it's not an, it's not like a slimy texture. It's it's, it's really nice actually. It's well nice. The potatoes, as you can see, are not very appetising at all, but with the sauce, it's going to make them bearable. The salad looks alright. Got a few ol olives on there and that. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to eat this, and uh, tomorrow we're climbing the volcano. Good night. And if you're wondering where Natalia is, and why she's not here for Christmas, check out this video. You missed one.